Today is International Widows Day. Back in 2010, the United Nations adopted June 23rd as the day to address some of the hardships that widows around the world endure. But advocates aren't only talking about issues women on the other side of the world face. The Holmes and Rahe scale calls losing a spouse the number one most stressful event in life. In tonight's Heart and Soul, WBOC's Kimberly Wiggins shares how you can help your grieving friend next door. John and I were together for like 26 years and he was my soulmate. Debbie Brune lost the love of her life, John, two years ago when the Wicomico County Sheriff's deputy died after going into cardiac arrest. Keeping busy helped her start to heal. I put myself in counseling. I started a foundation for my husband. I went to lots of paint nights and more than I, I have more paintings that I even know what to do with at this point. My faith was the most important part. Um, it, it gave me the strength to get through it. Brune stresses grief is a part of life. More need to learn the tools to survive it, not ignore it. Some people are very uh, cautious about reaching out to someone who's just lost someone because they don't know what to say. Um, but reach out because there's nothing worse than being isolated. You don't want to let that person be alone because they can fall in that, into that dark place. The daily hardships are tremendous. Carolyn Moore's husband, Chad, was killed in a hit and run in Orlando in 2000. After discovering the tangible need for support and resources, she created the nonprofit Modern Widows Club, which now has 17 chapters nationwide. Years ago, she met the man behind the push for International Widows Day, Lord Lumba. When his father died, he saw his mother being stripped of her bangles and uh, very much of her dignity and her standing in society. Last summer, months after my amazing husband Rashid was killed in a horrific hit and run in Florida, I decided to visit the so-called City of Widows in India. Thousands have congregated in the holy city, seeking refuge and community after being shunned by family and friends. Though slowly, societal views and discriminatory laws are changing. Still, more calls widowhood an attack on women's health. It is as if, it, as if they have died along with their spouse, and in many ways, they have. 70% of married women will experience widowhood. About a third are young, needing extra help navigating life when you don't want to live it. What does the world look like when, we, when these women gain uh, a community, uh, mentors, and resources? The loss of John has put me on a different path, but it's a positive path and I've tried to make it that way. For Heart and Soul, Kimberly Wiggins, WBOC News. To see more from Kimberly's trip to India, the local support group she's working on for widows, and for ways you can help a grieving friend, head to our webpage, wboc.com. Click on Features, then scroll down to Delmarva's Heart and Soul.